Welcome aboard day three of our Mexican cruise on board the Navigator of the Seas. We're having such a great cruise and today we are in... Cabo San Lucas. It is a our first port day and we're very excited for today. Yeah, it's gonna be an awesome day. So let's go ahead and dive right into day three. So at 10 a.m. this morning, we can go get our complimentary tender tickets for Cabo. Um, we have to head down to the main dining room. We actually have to go to deck five because there's three levels for the main dining room. And if you have an excursion though booked with Royal Caribbean, mm -hmm. then you'll have individual information for your tender there. But if you don't, you'll want to get in line because it is first come, first serve. I thought we were early by coming at 9.30. Half an hour early and it's a huge line. So it took about 15, 20 minutes to get the tickets. It's 10 to 10 and that's a long time before 10 o'clock when they were supposed to open. Yeah, so they started handing the tickets out early. We did get group nine. I'm not sure if that's fast or slow. We'll find mm -hmm. out how soon they call us. So definitely line up early. We're actually gonna go for the brunch in the main dining room right now as well. That's open until noon. So and we're gonna head down and do that right now. What did you get on? I got French toast. Look at all the beautiful berries too. Omelette, hash brown, sausage and bacon, a key lime pie. Getting close. We are getting close. How was brunch? Very good. I'm very, very full. Yeah. Let's head up to the front of the ship where the helipad is and watch us sail into Cabo, a great place to enjoy the views. Hey buddy, hitching a ride. We are all slathered up and ready to go into Cabo. We've been outside, it is really hot. It's really humid, it's sunny, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to this. Mm -hmm. Beautiful day out here. It's really Over here is Lover's Beach with Divorce Beach on the other side. And down here is Pelican Beach where we're hoping to go snorkeling today. All the tender boats are waiting for us. They're bringing out a ramp for us to get on the tender boats with and they'll hook that up right to the ship. Over in the distance, you can see the many resorts as well as Madonna Beach, where it's beautiful for swimming and lots of restaurants. Over here on the other side, you can see the marina. That is where they'll be dropping us off. Catching up on your Wi-Fi? Yeah. Before we get off? <laughs> Just waiting for our number to be called. We are number nine. So looks like it's gonna be about 1.15 when we get off the ship. And it looks like they're about to get started with the tendering. And we are off into Cabo. The tenders run really smoothly here in Cabo. They're very efficient and they move people quickly. I would agree. As soon as we leave, the new tender boats come right in to pick more people up. It's about a 10 minute ride into the marina and check out that sea lion on the back of the fishing boat. Our scheduled arrival time was 12.30. It's 1.35 now, so that's pretty good to be getting off the tender now. Cabo! We're here! On the pier, you'll find people taking photos. There's excursion meetups. There's a pharmacy out here if you need anything, but we're gonna head to the end of the pier and find a local vendor who will sell us a tour out to the Cabo Arches and then drop us off at Pelican Beach so we can do some snorkeling. In the past, we've paid $15. We'll see if we can find the same deal today. 
And yes, we did. We found a deal, $15. They're gonna take us out there and drop us off at Pelican Beach. We're just gonna follow this young girl out to the boat. We do need to also pay a dollar to access the pier. She's gonna take us out to our boat and our boat today is called My Dog One. And away we go. That's awesome. There's quite a few fish in this area. Yeah, there is. I think they like the bread from the captain. This is where we're gonna get dropped off a little bit later to go snorkeling here at Pelican Beach. This has been called Honeymooners Cave where two go in and three come out. You've got Lover's Beach, and on the other side is where Divorce Beach is. Now, we've done this tour a few times, and today is by far the waviest that I can remember. Yeah, it's pretty wavy today. I love the rock formations down here. It's really cool. Lots of boats out here, and they're all lined up to get a closer look at Scooby-Doo Rock, but of course the famous Cabo Arch is here as well. So cool. I love visiting this area. And Land's End where the Sea of Cortez meets the Pacific Ocean. We are on our way back to Pelican Beach. We have arranged with the captain for him to pick us up in an hour. It is good to know there are no restrooms or change rooms here, so come prepared. Thank you. All right, my dog won. We have to remember my that. Dog my dog won. You ready? Yeah, look at that yacht. How is the snorkeling? It's fun. It's warm. It's really warm. Uh, more fish by the rocks, though. Yeah, lots of fish by the rock, but and the water's really warm. I, but I think the food would help. Yeah, really big wave. Yeah, yeah. Really big wave. It's rougher than I thought it would be today. Much calmer than Lover's Beach last year. Yeah, where I lost my. Where you lost your sunglasses, but if you do want to see that, we'll link that below in the description. <laughs> that was a sad, sad day. Oh, we're getting sucked out. I can't touch anymore. <laughs> All right, now I can touch. You get sucked out and right back in. <laughs> At least it's not smashing us into the beach, though. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, here we go. Bye. Loved you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll find your sunglasses. <laughs> Pelican Beach is a beautiful beach. I highly recommend though if you're keeping stuff on the beach to keep it up on the rocks as the waves tend to wash in pretty high. Now we did speak to some local vendors. You can rent snorkeling gear for about $10 and if you'd like an umbrella it's about $25 for two hours. Now my dog one is back right on time in an hour. And this poor boat got stuck in the rope. It's around his propeller. We tried to help him out, but I think he's got some more help from this other boat. Some other guests were being dropped off at Madano Beach, so we asked if we could be dropped off there as well, and our driver said that was not a problem. So we jumped off the water shuttle here at Madano Beach, and yeah, we're gonna walk back to the ship in a little bit. They did say they would pick us up at five if we wanted to get picked up with another group, but I wanna do the walk, it's yeah. actually nice. Really nice swimming areas out here. The sandbar. Great views. Amazing. That looks good. Really enjoyed the sandbar and our meal, so the big nachos with beef and two cokes was $35 with tip. So um, pretty decent deal out there. Gorgeous views, comfortable seating. It was nice. We're just headed back towards the main kind of boardwalk down where all the shops are. We're gonna walk back down to the marina, maybe grab a few more beverages on the way. I didn't realize, but there's a Walmart right over there. Not that you go to Cabo San Lucas for Walmart, but if you need something, they have one. Made it down to the boardwalk. There's a beautiful high-end mall here. The Porto Paraiso. Tacky tourist. Tacky tourist? Yeah, fanny pack. Fanny pack. Cat. <laughs> it's a really nice mall if you want air conditioning and you just want to get out of the sun, this is a really good place. So yes, if you need anything, there is a Walmart here. Kind of right behind the shopping mall along the marina. $20 to get your feet nibbled on by the fish. Or two for 30. Two people, not two feet. Along the marina, there's a beautiful walkway with lots to see, including the lighthouse, the Cabo sign, make sure to grab a photo here. Huge marlin, surfboard arc. And lots of signage so you know exactly where you're located. We've had a lot of fun here in Cabo today. We've started to walk our way back towards the ship along the marina. It's beautiful, there's lots of vendors and restaurants and a lot of stuff going on down here. Yeah, it's beautiful down here along the marina. So many boats, I can't believe how many boats there are. We made it back to the pier and it's pretty quiet today, not really a lineup. We can get right on to the tender boats. That's a massive yacht out there. They're even running the double-decker tenders today. Beautiful navigator of the seas. And we are back at the ship. So coming back onto the ship, I put my bag for the x-ray. And they said, ma'am, ma'am, is this your bag? I'm like, yeah. He said, do you have a fish in your bag? I'm like, a fish? And I'm thinking they must have the wrong bag, right? And I look and it looks like a fish, but it's my flippers from my no snorkeling set. Yeah, I could see the 
the x-ray scan and it looked like a big red snapper or something in your bed, it's but like, it was no. your it was your swim fins. I don't have a fish in my bed. <laughs> no sneaking fish back onto the ship. Not too bad of a view from up here. We're above the lime and coconut bar nice on the patio. Too. Yeah, really nice. Now if it could stay like this the whole time, So we just sailed away here in Cabo. It was quite dark actually. Really dark. Yeah. But the sun went down fast. Yeah. Much faster than we're used to. Gorgeous. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're sailing away. It's dinner time. It is, but we actually don't have reservations until 8.30. But we're going to go see if they can accommodate a little earlier. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll go in the standby line or something like see. that. See if we can get in a little bit early. And then we have a show after that we're going to head to. So it's like a magic show, I think. With comedy. With comedy. Comedy magic. Should be good. Boy, what a fun day we had in Cabo today. It was a beautiful day and the weather was perfect. Mm -hmm. And I can't get over how warm the ocean is. Mm -hmm. Swimming out there, it is like bath water. It is warm. It was definitely warm. I'm, I'm used to that like shock of a cold lake and there was no cold shock. It was just lovely. Yeah. Really lovely. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have a choice. You had to get in pretty pretty quick with how big the waves were but yeah it was fine yeah and with it being quite warm it felt really nice yeah it was it was like bath water it was yeah <laughs> <laughs> but we found a duck from patty and shanna besties for 40 years thank you for the duck it's actually a unicorn duck so we're excited to have found that thank um, you that's always yeah. fun to take home as a memory yeah it was right above the elevator so we're happy to find that what a great night though we've had busy fun filled evening again yeah and it was actually quite fitting tonight because mm -hmm. dinner was the taste of mexico and it was our first mexican port so yes it so seemed we'll, we'll talk about dinner first and then we'll go on to the the show and the kind of after party tonight so it's been a long long day but lots of fun okay. so again taste of mexico in the main dining room mm -hmm. it was fairly late that we went we actually our reservation was at eight I think, but we oh, went at 7.30. Later. Yeah, it was 8.30 actually. Yeah, oh, 8.30. We actually ended up going around 7.30, 7.45, yeah. and there was plenty of space. They got us in early, they so. seated us right away and gave us a seat by the window. And you might be, well, it's dark. It's true, but we could see all the lights of Cabo as we pulled away. So it was actually, mm -hmm. it was still really nice to be by the window. Yeah, no, it was nice. Should we start with Appies? Yes, I tried something new tonight, and I don't think you've ever had this either. No, we both had this, so yes. go ahead and explain it, because I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so first of all, it's called the Grilled Sweet Corn Cakes. So, it's like a pancake that's not very sweet, and mm -hmm. a little bit thinner, and then they had um, diced up vegetables and there was top. peppers. Mm -hmm. Like red onion, mm -hmm. and there was also diced up avocado on it. So it tasted very fresh. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to expect. I actually enjoyed it. I did too. I don't know if mm -hmm. it's something that I would make. I may just enjoy it when I'm cruising. It looked like a lot of work to make. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But it was it was refreshing. The flavors were really good. Mm -hmm. We're rocking a little bit. I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I fall over onto the bed, it's because we're rocking a little bit. We're going side to side. Um, and I also had a Caesar salad. That's my first one on this cruise. Are you serious? Well, Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy them, but that's, yeah, that was a Caesar salad. Um, and then for dinner, yep, I had the carn asada, which was a flank steak with rice, beans, and spinach. And how was it? I enjoyed it. The meat was really good, and I ate most of the rice and beans, and there was the spinach that I left. <laughs> Ken doesn't like spinach. <laughs> you don't like spinach that much in general. It's, it's not a, your spinach is fine, but it wasn't really my thing. The spinach, the steak was really good. Yeah, I just like to tease you. You know. That. <laughs> what did you have? I had the chili lime crusted salmon. Mm -hmm. It had some kick to it. Okay, you would think it didn't though. For okay. me, it was spicy. For okay. you, you would kind of laugh at me. Um, but what sold me on it is that it came with sweet potatoes, mushrooms, and kale. Okay. And I happen to like kale. <laughs> So it was really good. Plus there was other veggies with it, like um, peppers, and then there was mangoes too with it. So mm -hmm. it was really nice. It looked, it looked fancy dancy. It was very flavor, very flavorful, and I was gonna say also um, colorful. Like mm -hmm. it was very pretty. 
like yeah. really pretty. And then we couldn't decide, well I couldn't decide, and um, our waiter said he'd bring one for the table for us to share, was the pulled pork enchilada with rice and beans. And did you like it? Well did you have any for us no. to share? <laughs> I said I would share it, but I was too full, I couldn't. So I didn't eat much of the rice and beans, because I'd already had rice and beans, but the enchilada was really good. Was good. I enjoyed it, yeah. Was it just meat inside and cheese? You think so? I think so. <laughs> it was good. It there was wasn't like, more beans inside? There could have been. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was good. <laughs> I can't remember, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, dessert. I don't know how to pronounce this, okay. so it's Treleshi cake. so like T R E S tre, then L E C H E S cake. So it's a vanilla. I don't know. Vanilla yeah. sponge cake soaked in sweet cream and dulce de leche and meringue. So I don't know. You can laugh at Did me. Did you like it? It was actually perfect. It yeah. was sweet but not overly sweet so it kind of had that like sweet but more comforting like it was like more mellow i don't like overly sweet so yeah. it was good i really liked it and i had the warm apple cobbler with caramelized apple filling and that came with ice cream it was kind of like apple pie did you like it? Uh, I did enjoy that. Yeah, you like apple pie too, so. Yeah. So, excellent dinner, the service was great. It was Some excellent. Some great chats with the people next to us. It was a really nice night. It was a really nice night. From there, we went to, okay, I'm gonna, it was the headliner show, can't read my own writing. Showtime. Showtime <laughs> in the Royal Theatre with Michael Hawley. And it says he's the Las Vegas king of variety. So this is definitely more of Ken's kind of show when I when oh, I read yeah. it, yeah, because Ken <laughs> likes juggling and you like well, he was magic juggling shows, ball, bowling balls and comedy. and comedy, making jokes. He did some magic, lots of puns. Yeah, he was funny. Yeah, he was good. Um, did some tightrope acts with um, juggling. And a lot of silly in there. A yeah, lot a silly. lot of jokes. A lot of laughing. Yeah. The people behind us were <laughs> laughing hysterically. Um, and he even played like a Jamaican drum. Is that what it's called? The steel drum. The steel drum with with balls throwing it at it. Juggling he, it. Yeah, it, he played that. It was he was very talented. Very talented. Yeah. So that was lots of fun. And then mm. we just got back from the '70s disco inferno party in the Royal Esplanade. The Royal Esplanade. I think that's <laughs> the what it's promenade. called. In the promenade. <laughs> the promenade. <laughs> Whatever the big hallways called. Um, so that didn't start till eleven fifteen tonight. Yes, so, but they did start probably it was about quarter to eleven with some like warm up seventies music. Mm -hmm. But the actual like big party stuff started yeah yeah eleven fifteen. So and I'm sure late. that's still going on right now. Yes. Yeah. So there's lots of uh, kind of. 70s disco going on down there. A lot of people down there. They're serving pizza. They're doing all sorts of stuff. So. You know the challenge is though. There's so much stuff going on all day long. Mm -hmm. You have to know when to pull the plug and go to bed because <laughs> well, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow we are in Mazatlan, Mexico. Yeah. And we arrive for 8 a.m. So we're up early. <laughs> we're up early. Yeah. yeah. So we're excited about Mazatlan. If you haven't been there before, it's it's a fun place. We have, Got some great plans for tomorrow. We're so. gonna explore some new stuff. I'm mm. really excited about that tomorrow. Yeah, so that's Mazalan tomorrow. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that adventure. It's gonna be a ton of fun. Any other final thoughts on today? No, I just I love Cabo. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah. Cabo is And we had another Cabo perfect day. Yeah. Yeah. So it was Wonderful. awesome. We are headed to bed so we can get up early in the morning <laughs> for another port. So we will see you tomorrow for day four in Mazatlan, Mexico. Have a wonderful day.